Greetings people, this is Simon O'Mellon. Um, what we're looking at today is uh, using puppets and storyboarding as a tool uh, for education. Now the thing is with little people, with, with children, they're not really equipped to tell a great deal about themselves. However, if you offload them uh, to puppets or other tools, external tools, they can tell you all sorts of stories about those tools um, uh, for ages and so you learn really rich things about them. Um, the idea of puppets uh, and puppets in education is uh, you have to be willing to <laughs> you have to be willing to forego all dignity. <laughs> Take the risk and show them that the risk taking is alright uh, because they'll do the same. It'll be good fun. So today we're looking at paper bag puppets and in particular um, this little story uh, here. Through the magic of television, here's one I prepared earlier. <clears throat> once upon a time, once upon a time, there was a very angry dinosaur. Ah! Ah! and it walked all across dinosaur land <coughs> and frightened every creature that it came across. Arr! And all the little little creatures would come up, they'd go, oh, Mr. Dinosaur, what's wrong? Arr! Arr! <coughs> and so they all ran away. And so this dinosaur was quite lonely for quite some time. And then one day, he came across another creature which was quite quirky in itself. He hadn't seen one of these before. <laughs> ah! Oh, hello, Mr. Dinosaur. Ah! Whoa, chill out there, big boy. What's with the anger management? Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, relax. Why are you so angry? Ah! Oh, my goodness. You can't catch me. I'm a ginger Batman. Ah! Uh, let's see, thought the bat. Hmm, maybe there's something here. I'll be back in a minute, Mr. Dinosaur. And the bat flew away. The dinosaur stood around for a while, and then when the bat came back, he gave the dinosaur a present. How's that, Mr. Dinosaur? Oh, said the dinosaur. Oh, are you talking to me? Yes, said the bat. I am. Oh, nobody ever talks to me. Well, that's because you're such an angry creature, Mr. Dinosaur. I'm not angry. I just, just speak and walk around and do things and everyone runs away. Well, I think that's because you had no ears, said the bat. And so the Bat and the dinosaur were getting on really famously and the, and the bat said, uh, would you like to come back to my place and, and we'll drink tea and talk politics? And the dinosaur said, oh, that would be lovely. And off they went as good old friends um, away, away. Uh, and who would have guessed, who would have known that the dinosaur preferred Lapsam Suchong tea? And he loved it. Uh, and the bat was very, very fond of orange pico. Uh, and they chatted for ages. Uh, and eventually, in talking about politics, the dinosaur put forward his whole concept that dinosaurs may die out from smoking-related illnesses because he sees them often smoking behind volcanoes. The bat had to agree that was a possibility. And they were friends for a very long time. The end. Bye. Thanks for joining us. So here we've got this story where we've just put it together uh, and using paper bags like sock puppets, uh, which are an extension of finger puppets, um, we've just come up with this really simple thing. If you Google paper bag puppets, you'll see a plethora of fantastic ideas. So it involves um, cutting skills, uh, so hand-eye coordination, lots of imagination, and you want your students to be able to plan and present the story. So from that, we end up with, uh, this side, yes. From that, we end up with a thing called a storyboard. This is a very simple storyboard where we've got four cells uh, and it basically says, here's the plan. Very angry dinosaur, dinosaur meets bat, yeah, gets his ears, 
uh, and off they are having tea and doing whatever they do. Um, the concept of the the concept of the storyboard is that then children learn in order to fulfill a story, uh, uh, some sort of theme, they can plan it out. It's a, a brainstorming process uh, which basically puts in a plan of who does what and how they connect. So for writing stories, for performances, for all sorts of things, this is a great design tool. Uh, and so the earlier you get it in there, the better. Uh, let's see, you could have them, uh, you could have them uh, uh, organize this around known, uh, known uh, children's uh, fairy tales stories uh, and they could rewrite them and plan what would happen or what do you think should happen and then you've got some sort of moral coding going in there as well. Uh, so great idea, really good idea, hope you have fun with it, thank you very much, ciao!